Our problem is to sketch the graph of the hyperbola given by x squared minus 4y squared plus 6x plus 16y minus 23 equals 0. The first part of our solution is to put our equation in standard form as shown. First, we will group our x's and our y's together and move the 23 to the other side of the equation. We are then able to factor out a negative 4 for our y's. To put our equation in standard form, our fractions need to be squared, so we will need to complete the squares. We can do this by taking our 6, dividing it by 2, and squaring it to get 9, and then by taking our negative 4, dividing it by 2, and squaring it to get 4. And whatever we add to the left side, we must also add to the right side. So distributing our negative 4, we are adding 9 and negative 4 times 4 to our 23. After simplifying this, we get x plus 3 squared minus 4 times y minus 2 squared equals 16. To get our equation equal to 1, we must divide both sides by 16. We can then split our fractions up and get x plus 3 squared over 16 minus 4 times y minus 2 squared over 16 equals 1. Then we can simplify this, since 4 over 16 is also equal to 1 over 4. So putting our equation in standard form, we get x plus 3 squared over 16 minus y minus 2 squared over 4 equals 1. To start plotting a graph, we need to find the center of the hyperbola. We can see here that h is equal to negative 3 and k is equal to 2, so our center will be negative 3, 2. Next, we need to figure out a and b since they will determine our vertices. For a, we get 4, so we will be going left and right 4 units. And for b, we get 2, so we will be going up and down 2 units. Now we can sketch our central rectangle that will have side lengths of 2a and 2b and will be centered at the origin. We can then sketch our asymptotes, since they will pass through the corners of our rectangle, and we can use our origins and vertices to find their equations. Finally, using our vertices and asymptotes, we can sketch our hyperbola, and our graph is finished.